Welcome to part two of our three-part series on Mastercam Port Expert. Uh, in the first series, we created the splines, which we're going to use for tool pathing in this lesson. If you didn't get a chance to check that out, make sure you do. Uh, other than that, we're going to move forward with creating our Port Expert tool paths for these four ports. Now, I've already created tool paths to face the part, create these pockets, and then I created a stock model based on those cuts. That way we don't have to run all these tools to see what our porting tool is going to do. So let's go to the port expert. We're going to use this half inch lollipop. We're going to define it as 3.5 on the length and we'll give it a 375 shoulder and shank diameter. That looks pretty good. Now, on our cut pattern, we are going to be roughing the part, offset by 20 thousandths. You have the choice of going from the top only, from the bottom only, or from both. For these ports, we're definitely going to have to do it from both. And we are going to do the maximum material allowed from the bottom because we have these pockets here which could cause problems whenever we're reaching down in there too deep. So we have that set. We'll move on to some of the other parameters. I don't usually set every parameter at first. I just want to see a tool path on the screen and then I'll make adjustments. But these are common settings. Uh, 100,000 for the clearance on the holder, 20 and 25 for the shank and the shoulder. Um, over here under linking, we're going to want to do user defined value for the connection cylinder. It's basically how it's going to enter in and come out of the part and go from one side of the part to the next. And we want for the through to be auto. And some of these settings you may have to play with whenever your particular situation. And next we have to pick our machining surfaces and our spline. Now, because the regeneration on these tool paths takes so long, I went ahead and I have another master cam open with all four machined. So we will look at that one. So I picked the machining surface, which was a solid. And now I'm picking the spline, which is the spline that we created in the first lesson. Here and here. So we'll let this regenerate. And then I'll show you how we copy it to the rest of the ports after we get a good toolpath. So again, we just want to see one good toolpath. Then we'll make the modifications for the other three. Okay, we want to check one more time to make sure it's using our stock. And then we'll run this toolpath to see exactly what we got. Okay, it looks good there. It's going all the way through. Sometimes I like to look from the underneath side to see if there was a gouge along the surface. There was not. So everything looks good. So now what we do with these other three, we'll take this toolpath since it looks good and we know it's good. We'll right click, drag it down, and copy after. Always move your flag down. And we'll go to our parameters 
and we'll simply reselect the machining surface and the spline. So unselect those and then reselect machining surface, hit enter, and the spline. Now that one would be dirty, you do it again for this port and one more time for this port and you'll end up with four of them ready to go. Now, because it takes so long to regenerate the path, here is one that has all four ports, same stock model setup. So we'll go ahead and run that through, show you what your end result should be like. First, we'll make sure that we're using our stock model. And now we'll run it through. So any of these long toolpaths that take a long time to regenerate, a lot of times that's what we want to do is get one good toolpath, copy it, copy it, copy it. Or we could use toolpath transform sometimes in the right scenario. All these look clean. So hopefully you were able to get your tool pass down. These are the roughing tool pads. Stick around or come check out our third part and we will do the finishing tool paths on these. And then we'll go through a few of the modifications for optimization of the tool pads in part three as well. So I hope to see you there.